So we've got three formulas here to unpack and simplify. I can see this being particularly helpful with nested if statements and nested formulas where there's a lot of logic to unpack that AI can just do a lot faster. So this first example was exactly that. We've got this long formula, which if I grab and place it into ChatGPT. Now, supposing I'd just gone to the second step of this task and said, simplify this Excel formula for me. Just give me the formula, nothing else. Okay, so that gives me max C11 to F11. But with no other supporting information, it's hard for me to audit ChatGPT's thinking. So in this case, I want something somewhere in between. So in our third and final prompt, I'm going to write, briefly help me understand what this Excel formula is doing. Is there a simpler way I can write it? Okay, so very quickly, it's telling me what the formula is doing and it's giving me a formula. Unfortunately, this time it's laid out those cells individually instead of as a range. And you can see that it's forgotten that it's working in Excel. So this feels like one of those frustrating moments where it's not quite giving me the answer that I want, but I have enough information to now implement it in my model very quickly. I can write the formula myself using the range as the argument. Now, I did try the same thing with ChatGPT4, but I had the same problem. I had to prompt it to simplify that range, which doesn't seem like an efficient use of time. Really, the time saver in this task was finding out exactly what the formula was doing. That might have taken me quite a while to unpack all of those greater than symbols. And let's try Gemini as well. And sure enough, it gave me the same answer. What's interesting is that the very first time we ran this, when we just asked for the simpler formula without the explanation, it did give me the correct formula. So this shows you that it's not always gonna give you the same results.